Think like Tesla. Think like Tesla, Micah here. I've got some gadgets here to show you. There's a levitating disc here and a plasma ball, but the coolest part for this video is this. It is supposed to be a bug detector. So if you push this button, LEDs light up. Definitely not a laser, despite what the packaging says. But it's got an antenna and a sensitivity adjustment. You dial this thing up here until it starts to go crazy all on its own, and then back off just a little. Okay, back off just a little. So now it's right on the edge. Yeah, right on the edge. So, yeah, getting it too close to my phone here. That's recording this. Makes it buzz. This plasma ball, of course, makes it go off. Interesting, the levitation device, magnetic levitation, does not. Oh, there we go. Or does it? These two are too close to each other. Let's try moving this. So, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, this antenna, just one of these little uh, collapsible jobs, is a terrible antenna for this kind of thing. Let's see if we can upgrade the antenna and make this into more of a uh, directional outfit. Let's call it a uh, radio telescope. But first, I want to do a few more tests on this to see how it responds before, so we have something to compare to after. Okay, outside the climate-controlled confines of the laboratory, sound and lighting aren't quite as good here. We'll do what we can. So we're going to get this thing activated. We're going to back it off just a bit. All right, we're ready to go. Now this box here is a Sprint micro tower, or a microcell. Let's see if we can pick up something more on the left side than on the right. So that must be where the antenna is situated inside that box. So that's something that we can already find out. That's cool. Here's an access point. It's got both 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. Getting a lot of signal coming off of that. And kind of as a control experiment here, an UMA box, a hard drive, not much there. Back to the access point, lots of signal coming off of there. Pegs the meter out. Here's what I have in mind. Got the screws out of this guy. So we can carefully take the top off and see what's inside. There's the LEDs for signal, a little speaker. It's got a little motor on the back and a rechargeable battery. Very cool. But let's, looks like this antenna here comes off pretty easily. So let's take out that antenna and instead I'm gonna put in this small connector. This is an SMA connector, the type that many different antennas for mobile and ham operations we use. So let me see what I can do to get this antenna connector mounted on, then we'll have something that we can plug various antennas into, and then do more experimenting. And there we go. Isn't that just the cutest little piece of coax you've ever seen? Now what we can do is replace this with this. Let's go. Okay, once again in the shadowy and frankly somewhat frightening depths outside of the lab. Let's get this thing queued up here. Back off a bit. And now we're going to test some of these devices again. So this, is, this antenna is specifically designed for Wi-Fi frequencies. It's made to attach to your a router to give you better signal in your house. So notice uh, it is activating at a low level from quite some distance away from that uh, access point. I had to back it off a little bit more even. And even though the cellular frequencies are not a direct match here, it's still picking up signal and not just on the left side either. So it is better at picking up signals to some extent but it's hard to tell the left side from the right like we could with the, the cheapo antenna. So that worked. It wasn't very directional though. For that we would need something like, and I had to back the camera up for this, one of these guys. This is a Yagi antenna. So the driven part of the antenna is actually this loop right here. This piece of metal behind it is called a reflector. It's actually going to re-emit the radio signals in such a way 
that makes it seem to reflect back this way. And all of these pieces are called directors. This is kind of a ridiculously large amount of directors on here, but it makes the antenna very directional. You can point it in a particular direction. And of course the connector matches what we just put on there. So let's give this one a try. Okay, I'm really curious to see if this Yagi's gonna do what it's supposed to do. All right, so we're queued up, we're set up, pointing right at this axis point, right at it, and we're getting, boy, barely one, one bar of signal. And yeah, just pointing at other stuff doesn't work. Really, that's it? Really? Okay, so, hmm. If I step back a bit, I don't even get any signal at all. So that doesn't seem as directional as I would have hoped. You gotta point that thing right on there. How about this box here? Let's see, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, oh there's something. Hmm. Well, it is picking up the left side, particularly the bottom left. So we're able to see through walls a little bit with this. Hmm. Whoa, what was that? Hang on. Oh, check this out. Not even pointing the antenna at it, just getting the box near it is enough to set it off. I guess that goes to show that it's not shielded, huh? Hmm. Okay, and just a quick check here. Can I see, like, any neighborhood access points? Nope. Nothing. Okay, so moderately disappointing, but not a failed experiment. It's never a failed experiment when you learn something. So, at least now, I've got a tool that I can use for further experimentation. Uh, if you have any ideas, anything else you'd like to see tried, let me know in the comments. And uh, until next time. Thanks, everyone. This land on gone. Music compliments of Juan Carlos Garcias from his album Tisla Sweet.